Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at the very useful new view menu in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, this one's pretty simple, but it's easy to miss. It's a great one for new users that could be confused with the three locations you have to go to change view settings in the program and source monitor. There's now one place that's easy to go. Okay. So first of all, you have to make sure that the, the proper panel is selected. If you're not familiar with that blue line, that's telling you which panel is in focus. So if I don't have that selected and I go to the view menu, it's grayed out. So this is the program monitor. This is the source monitor. And when you have those selected, the view menu will be available. Let's go through each one of them. First is the playback resolution from full to half to quarter and an eighth and 16th if I've got 4K or, or larger showing. These were over here. The playback resolution was right there and you would have to know where it was. Then there's also the paused resolution, which is always set on full, which should be. Now, there's no paused resolu resolution menu here. It was in the wrench paused resolution in there. So right away, you can see two different settings are in one location, much, much easier. High quality playback, which was also in the wrench, high quality playback. It allows you to look at things at the highest quality while they're playing back, and it doesn't mean your export will be any different. Be very careful when turning this on because it requires a lot of uh, resources on your computer. Even a fast computer might be playing a little slower and maybe stutter a bit with that on. You don't really need that on. You can stay at full resolution with high quality turned off. Um, so. If, if your computer's fast enough, turn it on and use it. But just remember that you've got that on. So back in the view menu, there's also the display mode uh, of each one of these monitors. So are you looking at composite video, which is what we're looking at here? There's no alpha channel in this, but if, if there was an alpha channel, you could look at it. If it was a multicam display, you could look at that or the audio waveform which is grayed out because that's for the source monitor and the comparison view, which is this button down in here. So all of these are available in one display mode and they used to be, again, in several places. The comparison view, which I've got a full tutorial on how to use that, you can go and check that out, but the rest of them were in this wrench menu and you can see composite, alpha, multicam and comparison view. We're in there. So lots of different places now, again, in that one spot. Magnification goes from 10% to 400%. That was also right over here. It's the same functionality, it's just in a different place. All right, let's go back to view. And there's, you can now show rulers and show guides. And I've got a full new tutorial about how to use rulers and guides. If you come from Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, InDesign, or even After Effects, you'll know that guides can be really useful in aligning things. So watch that tutorial. Uh, so for guides, you can lock, add, and clear guides. You can also turn on snap in program monitor, and you can see it's got a keyboard shortcut. And that's this button right here. And if that's not showing, you would have to know to go in the button editor. I'm going to reset that layout. And you can see it's not even showing. In the button editor, I had added that previously because I do a lot of graphics work. And now that's there. But if you didn't know to go in there and take that and drag it out, the view menu would definitely help you to see that. Again, see how that, uh, it's changed because that's not showing up. All right. now. You, that was the program monitor. If I'm on the source monitor, then this, some of the same commands will come up, like dis, display mode, alpha. There's no um, audio waveform for that clip. That one does have an audio waveform. So now when I go to the view menu, display audio waveform, I'm looking at that. It happens to be nothing in there, but that's the equivalent of clicking on these buttons right there. Display mode magnification, high quality playback and pause. All of those same things are in that menu as they are in the program monitor, but there are a, a few differences between those. So there you go. It, this is a simple tutorial, but I think it's really important to point out. And like I said, if you're a new user, then 
go to that view menu now instead of trying to look at all the little hidden places for all of these settings. They're now consolidated in the one new brand new view menu. Thank you, Adobe. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment to subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that through PayPal like our wonderful, awesome PayPal supporters. Yay! Thank you so much. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. Till next time, I'm Carlos Smith and it's my job to look through all of these new features and break them down for you here on Video Revealed.